Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very fun one. It's going to be recent book purchases, books that I purchased in the last month and a half or so. Before I came to KU, I only brought like maybe 10-ish books from home for my TBR and I was like, these are the only books I'm gonna read. But looking at the two stacks that I have, I actually have purchased a lot since I've been back since like January 15th or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and go through them. Kind of have them organized. We're gonna talk about new releases that I've recently purchased. First one is Colleen Hoover's um, Reminders of Him. I actually have already read this. It's so good, five stars. Um, I definitely recommend it. The covers are just gorgeous and they always mean something. Probably always going to buy Colleen Hoover's new releases so like this is not surprising and then the other new release that I have is Who Are You Following by Sadie Robertson. I read all of her other books. I decided I want to read this one so I got it while it was on sale on Amazon so very excited. I have books that I bought at um, Barnes & Noble. I think I bought four books but for some reason I only have two here so I'm not really sure where the other two went. First one I have is One Day in December. I know this is like a Christmassy book, but I have another book by Josie Silver. I have her The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, and I just decided that I wanted to read this. My friend Libby has read it and she liked it. So I have this one. It is a Christmas book. Yeah. And the next one I have is one that I'm actually very excited for it is My Year of Rest and Re Relaxation. I heard this book is like very interesting and some people hate it, some people love it, and I'm excited to read this. I heard the author's great. I know the character in this book is problematic, but that will make for a more interesting read. Next I have some books that I've gotten like at Target trips and stuff. The first one is The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins. I love Thriller. I thought this sounded really good. So. Yeah. And then the other one I got, which I am glad I got, but also I'm not, is The Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, the reason why I think this is a good purchase is I think I'm going to love this series. The only problem is the two other books aren't in paperback, and I'm not going to read the series until I have the entire full set because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this series so much that I'm going to want to keep on reading. Um, but I don't want to buy this and then have to buy two hardcovers or something like that. I, I actually already have the second book pre-ordered for paperback, but I don't know how long the third book is going to take. But I do have this and it's so cute and I'm so excited about it. So I have a book that I purchased at KU. This is KU's common book. It's a memoir. It's called Braiding Sweetgrass, Indigenous Wisdom, Scientific Knowledge, and the Teaching of Plants. I really don't know exactly what it's about all i know is that this is um my university's common book which is just a book that like everyone can read it's the book that's going to be discussed but yeah it's really thick um the pages feel super nice i like the cover honestly um but yeah i don't like i don't know much about it but i did purchase it and i will read it um maybe like in march maybe this will be my non-fiction book of the month and then next I have some books that I got off of thrift books and I just they kind of all have the same theme I don't know if you guys will see I think I was feeling like into non-fiction books like feminist books kind of that vibe but the first one is Eve Babbitt's um, Sex and Rage I love the cover I want to read her black swan so bad this book just looks so good um, in the cover like or the title the title so good I, I love it i love it so much and along with that i got this book it's called three women by lisa tadeo um apparently it was a book of the month in 2019 but i saw this on lexi lombard's instagram i think and again it's like a feminist like um talks about sexual lives of three different women i believe um yeah i think it's gonna be really good i I'm excited to read it. Last one I got kind of like in that theme is called She Said, Breaking the Sexual Harassment Story That Helped Ignite a Movement. Um, my friend Libby is actually reading this for a class and I saw it and I was like, that actually looks really good. Whoa, there's a, there's a bookmark in here. Well, that's cool. I thought that was cool and I'm excited to read. Hey guys, we're in what I would say is the most like important books. So I'm gonna show you guys a book that Libby gifted to me last semester right here. It is just gorgeous. It is so pretty. Um, it is Twilight Classics from HarperCollins. When Twilight was popular, they redesigned classic um, 
covers for they redesigned covers for classic novels and I was so excited I know it's like kind of like you it's kind of cringy but I'm obsessed with Twilight if you don't know that and so when I saw this I was like I I want that so Libby gave me Pride and Prejudice which is my favorite um Pride and Prejudice is my favorite like book standalone book favorite classic and she gave me that one but there were seven other ones and on thrift books i actually found them all like the prettiest or anything but i don't really care i need to do some like care on them some tlc um but anyways let's get into it so the first one i have is emma this is by jane austen um i've never read this one so i'm very excited but this one has like sticker glue all over it so i need to definitely like take some goop gone or something like that i have is wuthering heights which on here it says this is bella and edward's favorite book i've actually read wuthering heights i think out of all of the classics the only ones i've read were pride and prejudice and wuthering heights i personally did not like wuthering heights but since i own a copy of it now i think i'm gonna reread it i read it when i was a sophomore in high school so i was also a completely different person in a different headspace so maybe i would like it now so we will read this one um yeah. Next one I have is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, another Jane Austen one. Um, I don't really know what this is about, if I'm being honest. This is one, I think out of all of these books, this is the one I least know, maybe? I'm not sure. I want to read it, though. Dakota Johnson's working as Persuasion, which is the other Jane Austen book that I have here. Um, this one is, I think, the smallest, or one of the smallest. Um, arguably one of my favorite covers though because it's just so pretty. I have a Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre. Um, I think I tried to read Jane Eyre in high school but I was just too young, didn't really get it. This one is A Thick Boy so we are going to read this, um, yeah, Bronte. And then the two last ones are William Shakespeare. I've only read some of his sonnets. I've never read Romeo and Juliet and then A Midsummer's Night Dream. And so I'm very excited about these two. This one I actually purchased on Amazon. This is the only one, um, but it's still used and stuff. But yeah, guys, that is so exciting. I'm very happy about these. They're just so pretty. I'll show you guys. Like, they just look so good. Anyways, guys, it is currently like 8 a.m. in the morning and I need to get to class. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys have recently purchased. After looking at this, I've spent a lot of money, but most of it's on thrift books. Thrift books is a really good um, platform. I swear I'm not sponsored or anything, um, but I, I'm just going to always advocate for thrift books because I literally love it. It's insane. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for 400 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace and love. Bye guys.